word. Extra, extra. Read all about okay, Lexi, it. what did you bring? So I brought quite a heartwarming story, I think. And it's Ooh. about a special education teacher who's yeah. from Mexico. And she is basically because of COVID, obviously, all the schools are shut down and, and uh, she has students two hours away uh, and, and they might not, ha- might not have access to the internet or even the books that, that they need. Mm-hmm. So this teacher decides, decides to turn her pickup truck into a mobile classroom and drives over two hours to visit students with autism and then teach them, like have a little one-on-one session with them. Like she has in the back of her truck, like the big Bay Area, it's called the yeah. Bay Area. Uh, um, the she's tray. got like a makeshift, the tray, the tray. there yeah. we go. Aussies know that, don't they? <laughs> in the tray, she has a table, little chairs, and then and then they're wearing their face mask, keeping keeping a bit of distance, and they're they actually getting on with the lessons. Like it's That's it's so cool. cool. It That's cool. pretty darn cool, cool, to be honest. Mm. Mm. I like it. Her name is like, Nay. Her name. I just is think Nay. now is a time, like teachers are incredible people anyway. Like Aww. just put it, like from. Like teach to do a teaching job. It's like you're, what you're doing is so important, and especially if you don't get enough pay anything else for it. Like you're doing it for good reasons normally, but I feel like it can happen that the system sort of gets to you and you end up just doing things by the book and how they tell you like you have to do this, teach this, you know, and you can sort of lose that spark. But mm. it's just in times like these, it shows like the teachers that st- still have that spark just go on to do so much for, and it can make such a difference to these kids' lives. Yeah, it makes a big difference. Makes a massive difference. You know what yeah, I mean? That's like, huge. This particular teacher is a special education teacher. Um, and I think the reason she when like is going this extra mile is she's got some like children with autism, for example, and because of COVID, it's really mm. affecting their um like she wanted to see the effect that being isolated is having on their mental health. So that actual, that picture there, one of the mums took it, um, the picture that's mm. gone viral. Um, and on that day she was, she was doing a test. She was giving the students a test to evaluate how effective distance learning has been for each child. Um, and she okay. wanted to know how each of her students were holding up emotionally. So she's just incredible. Yeah. Well, she, she said as well, she wanted to point out that she insists that all teachers are putting in the extra effort. It's not just her that she's just been captured. Yeah. Doing so. So she's quite humble about it too. And it's, it's good to know that all teachers are doing that. She said it's a 24 hour job. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's yeah. crazy. I know. It's not just around the corner. It's like two hours away. Like it's just, I really want to have a job where when it gets like tough, you just, you really want to go the extra mile to help, if you know what I mean? Yeah. Like with my current job now, don't tell my employers, but when they're like, oh, we've got nothing to do, I'm like, oh, good. <laughs> I can chill. <laughs> I <laughs> you know, know, I don't think, yes, we can do more. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'll take the money and uh, enjoy myself, do a bit more training, uh, sleep better. <laughs> you know, but it's like, you can see they're just passionate about helping. Like it's just, I just, I got so much mad respect for these people I, I mean how many jobs do you reckon there are out there that you're able to do this it's all the caring jobs it's all your uh age care nursing teaching uh, working with homeless people anything where you're like caring for others i think mm. non, non, um, you say non-profit. able what do you mean like like or where you're not doing others. it for money it's that, like to think teaching there's no money at the end of teaching it's a cost mm. um mm. So you innately to, to do it as a as a whole operation, you have to be more socially aware and like wanting for the best interest of these mm-hmm. people. Otherwise, what's the point? Uh, I wonder how many of um um the like big companies now when they first started was for like <coughs> f- for the love, if that makes sense, for the love <coughs> of doing something, mm. and then they realized. They th- their product got monetized and then they it changed in their head where it was like, oh, now I can like really make a profit out of what I'm doing. Like a lot of people, um, it changed in their head. And then other people, they've just been lucky to keep the passion. The passion, yeah. I think my dad's a good story of someone that like he opened his gym 
out of passion more than anything. Mm. He always talks about how he's going to make lots. He'll be this time next year. I'll be a millionaire. You know, that's his. Aww. He says that a lot, but really, like he he does it for passion. Mm. And now he's probably after the opening two thousand and three, the gym. It probably oh, only got financially like stable in two thousand and fifteen ish. Like up until then, it was just just about getting by, kind of. Right, kind of right. just keeping a yeah. So in the yeah, so in the last five years, he's actually like now making income where he can now go on holidays and stuff each year and enjoy them. Um, and now he's looking at like launching his Coven brand and stuff. So he's he's kind of oh, got wow. a taste for the money side of things as well a little yeah. bit. And he's like, oh wow, I can actually build on this. But yeah. I feel like the only reason he's allowed to and the is because the community recognized him as being very passionate about what he did. Yeah. 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 So like it's it's if you start with passion in things where you're like when it's when you can monetize it, then it's probably easier to monetize it later. Yeah. yeah. But obviously that only works in his industry. It doesn't work when you're a school teacher, start with passion. It's quite hard to monetize teaching yeah. later down the line, especially because then it can become quite unethical, I think, if you go like Well, yeah. the way teachers monetize, there are quite a few. They sell their resources. So they make up packs okay. and other teachers buy them. Some people make a killing. Mm. Really? Yeah. I yeah. Like the there's you have to pay. So you can go on like teacher. Uh, there's one called um, Teachers Pay Teachers, mm. and then you just upload your stuff, your resources that you make, and then it might just be like three dollars for this worksheet, whatever, whatever it might be. Sort of like a uh, Etsy, but for teachers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so I mean, they're cool. big. They're huge. Yeah. Or they might do a book for like, like I just got a casual a cool book. So I, yeah. so I interviewed for a couple of ed- edutech companies that were essentially building resources that teach the the teachers use and schools use. Um, which, but the teacher side, it, there's a lot of their clients, I guess, that are like individual teachers rather than actual schools themselves. Um, but mm-hmm. that that also. Like this, this lady doing this and stuff. I saw another like, Twitter post that made me that this kind of reminds me of as well. Like you know, like when you're in a kid in school and you have like a pizza party or something like that. Yeah, pizza you party. never had that. Like the kid would bring in the teacher. Sorry, the teacher would bring in like a pizza for the class, and it'd always be like one slice each, like. Or like they'd have like crisps or something. I like, actually don't remember that. You never had anything yeah. like that in school. We've had like crisps Not, or whatever, like a, a party. It's just when it's someone's birthday, they brought stuff in. But I never remember, recall the teacher bringing stuff in. You lot went to lame schools. I mean, you went to the same school as me, so I don't understand <laughs> that one. <laughs> maybe, no, you, maybe you just had a special no, this happened, Yeah, maybe you had this a good teacher. This has happened in every school I've been in, uh, all ages. What? Like, uh, at least same one teacher. point in the year, there's, there's like a time when it's <laughs> like, fun time. Same teacher followed you around. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure I've had food at some point. But the, but the yeah. idea was and I know, that like, when you have these, it's always like, like if it's pizza, like oh, one slice or if it's crisps, like a little bit. And you're mm. like, this is lame. But then realizing that the teachers this probably not a party. pay for that themselves. <laughs> like, Oh, definitely. Right. Yeah. That, they pay for a lot of stuff. Yeah. That's, I, that's, I don't, it's know, I don't know what it's like over there. But I know, like, I have friends who are teachers in America. Like, some of them have to buy their own resources for the kids. Books like, yeah. and pens. Paper have and you pencils. seen um, Freedom Riders? A long time ago. Seen Freedom what? Riders? Have you Freedom Riders? Yes. yes. Yeah. Oh, I love that film. Such a good Like, film. I wanted to be a teacher after that. Oh. <laughs> Why? Is that the one where they go in the basketball court and the coach, the coach I wanted to, yells at I them? I wanted to... Work three jobs. Um, are you thinking about Coach Carter? Yeah, oh. Coach Carter. No, but I've seen Freedom Writers as well. I just can't yeah. remember it. That's the Million Dollar Baby little... Girl. Who's the... Uh, no, not Million yeah. Dollar Baby. Yeah, million Dollar Baby? It is Million Dollar Baby Girl. Yeah. She's a very good actor. Yeah, she And then is. she like... She basically gets the whole premise of the story. She gets them all to start writing diaries. And then yeah. Yeah. that gets published. It's a true story. So you can yeah. actually go and buy the book. Yes. Yeah. She's, uh, Which... she's a motivational speaker now. You watched it recently, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, she's a motivational speaker. Oh wow! Yeah, the actress. A, if you haven't actress. watched that, then you should. Like that's yeah. a. You're gonna have to watch it again. No, really, not the actress. Really the real person. The real person oh, is Hispanic, okay. and a motivational speaker. I thought you meant speaker. the million dollar baby. No, actress. no, no, no. She's not. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I need to watch that again. I watched it years ago. Same. I can't really remember, but I remember it was good. It's worth watching again, I yeah. think. Like it just, uh, especially I think if you watch, I don't know how many years ago you watched it, but if you watch it as an adult, like I think it, do you see it differently? Like, Maxi, yeah. what was the most powerful scene for you? I've got something in my mm. head, so I just want to know which one was the most memorable for you in oh, that movie. I don't know. Quite a lot, but just one. Like, <laughs> like I don't want to give too many spoilers or anything. But... <laughs> Tell me yours first. The line. I'm going to. The line? Which yeah. Line? She, she put a masking tape line down the middle. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, then yeah. she asked questions. And then she said, um, the, the last question was like, how many people, how many of you have been seen a person that you know being killed? And she says she starts off with one. And then she goes to two. And then she gets up to five, I think. And there's only two people standing there. And they hate each other. And then they look at each other and realize they they have a lot in common. common. Even though they're from different cultures and all that kind of stuff. Oh, I I see. I really want to cry. (laughs) Oh, yeah, I'm going to watch that again. (laughs) Tear jerker. But yeah, teachers are the heroes is is my point. Yeah, Emma. There's some cult... Well, yeah, some, be, um, where's your cape, hero? There are, teacher. There's some hero. countries hero, like where teachers aren't <laughs> like where teachers are more like, oh, you're a teacher. But like, luckily, Australia is a pretty good one, and England, I think, where they're like, oh, you're a teacher. I think but most places are. But there's like... some countries where they're not really can like. It's like, oh, you're just a teacher. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know how we receive teachers here, <laughs> if I'm honest. Like, I want to be, like, Melody's a substitute teacher. So she's just signed up that when the school teacher isn't there, she turns up and does it. Is she? Like a super Wait, tough job. I thought she was a lawyer. She's studying law. She's not a lawyer yet. Did, but, but while had... she's studying law, yeah. she she goes, so, like, maybe, she just started again. She hasn't done it for a while, but she gets, like, maybe six, seven hours a week. She'll just be called up to go in and te- take, take a class when the other teachers are sick. Primary school or other school? They're like, uh, I think, 12 to 14 or 12 to 15, I think. Wait, did she have to do a degree? <laughs> Emma, Emma. I Emma, have Emma, to do Emma. a degree Australia, to do that. It's a different breed when it comes to teaching. Oh, like, you, you know, goodness. you know, you become a I've, teacher, you have I've to do a degree. been in schools working with kids already, and I have zero qualifications yeah, but- for that. Yeah, but but your substitute teachers, do they have to have yeah. a degree? Like, who takes a degree Emma. just to be a substitute? Emma. Well, no. You when you finish your degree or your masters, you automatically can then start teaching casually. But you have to have your degree to do that. You can't just go and do it. Yeah, but I mean, like, so so what? Who does a school have on standby when their teachers are sick? Okay. Degree people, because there's not enough permanent jobs. The school's only allowed to hire oh. a certain amount of permanent teachers. Um, mm. So there's a lot of grads that it could take a few years, 10 years, more than 10 years to even get a permanent job. So a lot of them Whoa. will just be on casual or relief teaching or they'll get like contracts. So maybe a term mm. or a whole year or whatever. Um, hmm. But there are people that are teachers aides um, and they don't have to have a degree. Usually the, the school, like you could become a teacher's aide technically with no degree or maybe you just have like a diploma or something mm. the but way yeah. that you guys do education over there as far as what you have to do to teach just makes me think that our system's a joke <sighs> well you have to have a degree to teach in england right you have to have a degree yeah. but not in teaching yeah, because you can just do oh, the, the but extra. But then years. you have to do a one year like top up thing if you want to go into teaching. So like, I, so I yeah. nearly went into teaching. Um, all I had to do was apply, and then I would do a year of essentially like the PGCE. But that year is me teaching. Like I would be teaching for a year. Hmm. PGCE. They used okay. to do that here, but it was just the extra year sort of grad diploma, but they've changed it now. You have yeah. to do your full master's. Th- yeah, a lot of it obviously also depends on supply and demand. Like if there's not enough teachers coming out, then you have to just drop That's the thing how is hard we it is have to get in. But if you guys have got an oversupply, then, then you can just create 
a great system. Our demand's system. a lot yeah. higher, and they have... So what they do here is they incentivize non-education degree holders to become teachers. But, like, for me, because mm. I was in maths, I, I would have got over 10 months, 20 grand tax-free, and then after three years would have got an extra far an extra five and then after five years an extra 5k again tax free so they do that to make people want to become teachers how come english teachers are always pregnant and math teachers are sick? <laughs> i saw i saw that one <laughs> Um, <laughs> that's so true. I saw it. And I was like, "That is so true." And I've asked a lot of people since. I was like, "Was it the case for you growing up that the math teachers never seemed to be get ill, and the English teachers were always the ones getting pregnant?" Mine was the opposite. Was My math teacher was away, and we had a casual all year. And I just remember everyone thought it was so weird because he was thirteen; he still lived at home. To us, that was ancient. <laughs> Like we're like who like who lives at home at thirty? What's wrong with this guy? And everyone hated him. Who was your maths teacher? Hated and he, him. And he didn't know how to teach math. Why did he tell you that? It was awful. Who was who was your maths teacher? But everyone hated him. <laughs> one plus one. I live at home. Oh, I don't even know his name. It was awful. People used to call him Poo Breath. Oh, like it, it, you like, guys were mean. Not me. I don't think there is anything wrong with his teacher. I think it's the students. It wasn't me. I think the students had the problem. And I don't think they said it to his face, but he oh, would, even worse. But he would sit back. there like basically with his feet upon the desk and just be like, hmm. <laughs> That's that's impressive. He stood there with his feet on the desk. Was he standing on the desk? <laughs> no, no, I don't sat there. I'm back picking holes in everything you say, I guys. I don't remember I his name, like it. but there was a teacher I had for RE. Um and he his thing was he would tell he would actively tell kids this that he shot Santa Claus. What? Yeah, he used to he Why? used to tell us and like if you dug into it, he would give you the whole story of how like Santa Claus was on his roof and he didn't know who it was. He came out and he took the gun and he shot Santa Claus off his like this is an RE teacher as well. In, <laughs> In England. England. <laughs> In the UK, I can't remember his name, but no. I, I feel like he was definitely there while you were a student. In as well. RE, so one minute he was talking about how Jesus is going to save us all, and then he's telling us about how he shot Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah, we never learned really about Christianity in school, did we? In RE, RE was the dumbest <laughs> class because it didn't teach you. That was weird. I learned anything. about the Egyptians. That's all I remember. Yeah. <laughs> and I watched Bruce Almighty a lot. <laughs> 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 that might say a lot about my school. We watched Bruce Almighty <laughs> and Evan Almighty a lot of times. Oh, that was, that was the best Evan day Almighty. in the world was when they're wheeling that big <laughs> TV show. The big, oh, wheeling the, yeah. the big... You'd hear it squeaking before it even oh, got into the class. Oh, the TV, the box <laughs> yeah. TVs. That was the best. <sighs> Usually in geography. I think our geography is <laughs> just like you. Yeah, we did it in geography and RE. Like they, had, what, like they had humanitarian studies. Is that what they were called? Like grouped yeah. together or yeah. something? <laughs> <laughs> Man, oh, what a goodness. sucky! But we done to our geography. I uh, know our RE teacher. Sorry, and this is this is very mean. But she had her classroom, and someone put like I think it was an egg mayo sandwich like up in. Do you know like the roof, the ceiling? You can like push. The oh yeah. yeah. Like oh. Then we put dear. an egg mayo sandwich in there. Then her room stunk the whole time. It Why was would you do that awful to yourself? Smelling in there. <laughs> like, oh, we had an because, awful smelling. I don't know. Well. I didn't do it. I, I remember going in there, but like, this is. <laughs> rank and then it was just funny because there's a few group of guys that knew about it and then i don't know and that same re teacher she had a system which is she would if you did something wrong she'll put a letter of your name on the board and if you get your full name spelt out then you oh like that's what i'm gonna do i'm doing that that's, that's a bit mean that's isn't I... it if you've got a short name no. <laughs> I, got, I was so annoyed <laughs> because i was like i got a five letter name I got a five letter name, and if if some teacher they might go with a three letter, like Max and Stella, like, and then we got no, 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 no. I know it's Olympia, whatever. That what's a long name? Like, Charlotte with a double T. That's not just a T would be enough. That will suffice. Alex, you you've done that just because you want. <laughs> so yeah, so I used to get I I would get an M, that's, and that's then I'll get another A straight every time. My mine come in pairs. I get the M, then the A for complaining about my letter, my name being short, <laughs> and then it'd be an X and I. I'm like ah, now I've got the E. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> didn't be an eminent A because I'd argue about my not being short. I love that. Like, I never just had an M and I never just had Max. It was either MA or MEXI. Like it was... <laughs> yeah, what a class. Oh, that is so what a smelly funny. classroom. 
are. Oh. We had a smelly classroom because my um the, my teacher or room teacher, whatever they had were called, home teacher, he was an art teacher <laughs> and he had installed this art display and it was of dead fish. And it literally what? was in his room for probably half the year. So from before school started when he was doing his art display, setting it up, and it was it just stunk. It was, was rank. That? Awful. What? Mr. Col- Mr. My my teacher, I can't remember the high school. <laughs> my Mr. Teacher. Coleman? <laughs> Mr. In Australia, Coleman. do you say do you call them by their last name, the teachers? Yes. Yeah. Do you wear school uniform? Yeah. Uh yeah. Yes. Yes. Because Melody thinks it's hilarious that we call teachers by their last name and we wear a school uniform. Really? Oh. Like she thinks it's just hilarious. Why? I think now wait. I see how they're at school, I kind of see why it's hilarious. Why? But wait, wait. How does it happen there in Oslo? They don't wear uniform and, and they just the say first the first name of the teacher. <laughs> so like if you were teaching, they'll call you Emma. It's a respect thing here, isn't it? Like we're drilled into if you call an adult by their first name, you're not being respectful. Because don't yeah. call me by my first. Yeah, I, 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 when you think about it, it's such a weird thing to don't think Don't use respect. my name. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what do you want then? But the, wow. the, thing yeah. that, the thing that I think it works for, like, so even saying sir, like she, she had someone that moved from England to Norway and then like, she comes on quite a rough, well, the school she's in was quite rough. So she was teaching and someone said miss to her and then everyone ripped on that kid. And then really? she was like, she was like, don't use that word. Just use melody. And if you don't know my name, just say. So it's, that's like, uh, <laughs> that's like the old, you know, when you're, you know, you're in your, <laughs> so, you know, you're in your class and your hands up and you're waiting and you, yeah. you're waiting for so long and you just, and you yeah, just go is- like, miss, miss. And then because your mind's gone somewhere else, eventually you're like, mum, mum. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you catch the, oh no. It's like social cru- uh, crucifixion. Crucifixion? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. That's never happened to You've me. never said mum. Has it happened to anyone? No. I've said mum before, but I've never said it in such like an orgasmic way. Like Alex just do that. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 like, what? <laughs> it sounds like you're having a sexual dream about your teacher. That's what. That, that's how it came across to me. Mom. Mom. <laughs> Not me. Your eye closed and we're going, miss. <laughs> Miss. <laughs> that's just that's just not your <laughs> Oh goodness. Oh well, uh, we got a bit off off topic. What was that about? Yeah, so pick up teachers. Pick up teachers. Oh yeah. Oh that's right. Yeah, no. Yeah, we teachers, stayed, teachers. We stayed well, on well school done, Nay, I say. Oh. Yeah. We stayed on school the whole time. Oh, at least we didn't have yeah. that space. Yeah, or even uh this was uh this was yeah this went viral even Kim K tweeted it so yeah I think she's done a good job and yeah, all the rest of the team have done amazing this year.